What are your thoughts on medically assisted death? My grandma was 89 and wasn't dying of anything in particular she didn't have cancer or dementia or anything but her memory was slowly failing and her body was generally falling apart from old age and a leg injury from 50 years prior. She had been a widow for 14 years. She was lonely and in pain all the time and her family lived across the ocean so we couldn't see her as much as we'd want to. There was nothing actively killing her, but she did not want to be alive anymore. She wasn't depressed, just old and in pain and ready to be done. She was able to go to a place in Switzerland with all four of her children and take a pill to end her life while her children sang to her and she looked out at the mountains. We all got to say goodbye to her and she got to be completely in control of the end of her life. I can only hope that, if I'm ever in that situation, then world will be kind enough to let me close my own exit as beautifully and peacefully as my grandma did. Mercy to those in pain. My grandmother passed away last week with a medically assisted death. She had cancer that had spread to her brain and was given a few weeks to a few months to live. From what family members said, she was deteriorating fast. She made the decision to have the procedure done as she wanted to end her time here with dignity. The appointment was made, doctors consulted, and paperwork drawn up. Ten days later two medical professionals came by her house, where she was spending time with her children. It was done quickly and comfortably. Nana left peacefully on her own accord, in the comfort of her own home, and while she was still more or less herself, it was very strange to have a time and a date looming. But it also allowed me to set aside that time to be alone and hold a small vigil of my own. I'm currently in another country and couldn't get back. She lived in Canada where this service has recently been made more accessible and I'm all for it. If it helped my nana, it could help so many others. It should be a right for every human to choose when terminal. We euthanize our pets but not our loved ones. We allowed our loved ones to suffer miserably at the end of life. I was a hospice nurse and saw the suffering firsthand. It is inhumane to allow that. I have a degenerative brain disease and would very much like to die with some dignity left, so I'm all for it. We let people die in fear and pain, but not animals. The last six months of my mum's life were exactly how she didn't want to live. Confused, incontinent, immobile. I longed for there to be a legal way to end her suffering. She made it very clear to me during her life that this was not the way she wanted to go. I'm an RN and should make it clear I've never assisted ending anyone's life, but I've wanted to. Medically assisted death doesn't mean more death, just less suffering. As someone who has stage 4 cancer I'm in favor of having the right to die gracefully. If it's good enough for my dog then it's good enough for me. My grandpa had a medically assisted death in 2019. It was such a blessing to my family as we were able to say goodbye and knew how much time we had left. Also it was relief from great pain for him and I'm so glad he was able to make that choice peacefully. Will forever advocate for it. If you're not allowed to legally arrange the end of your own life, is it actually your own life? Full support. People should have a choice to die with dignity and on their terms. My mother watched her grandmother deteriorate from owls. She tried to kill herself five times. All I remember of my great grandmother was a woman who couldn't leave her bed and barely speak. Medically assisted death would have meant she didn't have to suffer. So, it has my full support. Full support. People shouldn't be forced to spend their last days in extreme pain. They should be able to choose to die with dignity. I just watched my bedridden grandad finally die after 3 plus years of dementia, cancer, and duties. I fully support medically assisted death slash dying with dignity. He and others like him don't deserve that horrific painful end. My father's last words were kill me now. While struggling with the SF the hospice nurses, after he ripped his own respirator in half. I made the nurses leave and turned everything off and held his hand until he was gone. Man went out on own terms. His O2 saturation was stripping him of his intellect and wanted it to end. Only spent 22 hours in hospice. 
I'm 100% for assisted death after that ordeal. He cold gone peacefully on a beach. I was pretty much in the middle until I witnessed my dad pass. Now I feel that at a certain point it's very much a mercy that any human deserves. Wait till someone you love is suffering without hope and you will likely reconsider your stance on this issue. 100% for it. It's nothing but cruel to deny someone a peaceful death especially when the alternative is a stationary life connected tubes where you can't function without constant help for things. It should be their choice. Better than blowing your brains out. I don't see the problem. My body my choice is a phrase that applies to this too. My uncle used this service when he was diagnosed with terminal skin cancer. He was always healthy, very sporty guy. And in the end within one year after the discovery he looked like a different person. The meds hit hard and didn't back quote t really help sadly. He was a very happy and always optimistic person. But he cold and back quote t take it anymore since it didn't back quote t look well and he suffered as well as his children and wife. So he decided to depart from this world via this service. It was his decision. His family supported him. We supported him. I'm very happy he was able to choose to do this. Everyone should be able to do this. Here in Switzerland it back quote s luckily pretty accepted if you are terminally ill or similar. I'm fine with it. I think everyone should be able to die with dignity. If there is no escape from extraordinary pain but assisted death, it should be a crime to keep someone suffering. Euthanasia should be legalized in all countries. For it. I have a progressive spinal cord condition that is as painful as hell, but will never kill me. It would be much more humane to have an option to die without suffering for years and years. My dad had stage 3 lung cancer and was medically assisted in death 2 years ago. One of the tumors had grown up into the bronchial canal and made it impossible to operate on. While he was in hospital. He shared a room with a man with the same condition, just while a further advanced. Dad had to listen to this poor guy slowly drown in himself. It was horrible to witness, and coupled with knowing how torn up we all were, it ultimately drove him to decide on MAID. I remember in hospital he said I don't want to ever be at this stage. So he was discharged, and within a few weeks we had an appointment. And on a Friday, a doctor came by and dad passed peacefully. I had to set the whole thing up, and while it was extremely hard to essentially call someone to kill my father, you think it would have been much harder to watch him degenerate and suffer in fear. Rip dad, love you. I've always hated the idea of it, until my father's brother got Alzheimer's and forgot everything from who his brothers were to how to drink. In the end he had to lie in a bed and die of thirst, because if he actually swallowed it would just run back up and into his lungs, and he would drown. Seeing that man in a bed begging for water was gut-wrenching. Both sides of my family have it. I say I'd rather bloody well want to die with memories than die a hollow shell. I'm for it. For those against, maybe having 2MD sign off on the documentation that the patient is terminal and is aware of the decision they are making. Another rule should be, once this patient makes this decision and a legal document is signed, that the family cannot override the patient's wishes like what we see with DNRs, that family can override the patient's wishes and have CPR started. As a nurse we have to change what we are doing. Keeping someone alive when they are gone from dementia is just wrong period. The patient and families deserve compassion and a quick end rather than the prolonged nightmare that dementia brings. My favorite part of the movie Soil and Green was when the old man went to the voluntary death center where he was able to get into a comfortable lounge slash bed, listen to music of his choice, and watch video scenes of his choice as the medication peacefully put his to sleep and killed him. I have always hoped there would be this type of option when I reach the point of no return. My life, my choice. I want to be the one to decide how and when I go. On a personal front, this is an option I want in the future. 
from a law student perspective, the law would need to be very narrow in order to prevent abuses. Unfortunately the cost is that some who should be able to benefit will not, but it's better than the alternative. Dying with dignity I believe is a good thing. So I do agree with it. But I also believe education about this is important too. Informed, autonomous people ought to be left alone to decide when they are ready to die. Qualified physicians who help facilitate that in a way that minimizes pain and suffering ought not be criminally tried for it. It should be the choice of the person seeking it, no one else. No medic should be compelled to be involved, but they should not be prosecuted if they are. One of many things that should only concern the consenting people involved. I'd try it at least once.